So that's the first two sections from Mozart's Eine kleine Nacht music, which means a little evening music. Of course, the original is written for orchestra, and here I'm playing the main tune um, on a soprano recorder. And I want to show you how to play that without a music score, just by showing you the fingerings by rote. My name is Florentin. This is my YouTube channel. Welcome. Thank you for watching my video. Um, this would sound a little bit warmer on a wooden instrument. This is all I have handy in my classroom today, so that's what I did. So the first section, I'm playing this in G major. Uh, the first section starts on a G, D, G, and then B, D. So here's that first line, G. Watch again. Here's the second line, C. It's a play interplay between C, A, C, A, C, A, F sharp, A, D. I'm a classical guitarist, so you can see my fingernails on my right hand here. So that's what's happening there. But anyways, here's the second line. So C, A, C, A, C, A, F sharp, A, D. Sounds something like this. Here's the conclusion of that first mini section on a G, 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 B, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp. And I'm slurring the G to the F sharp. Next mini section is A, C, F sharp, A, G, G. Watch this again. And then the same section as before, B, A, G, G, F sharp, if F sharp with a slur. And here's how I end that. A, C, F sharp, and then G, G, F, F, G, G, F, F, G, B, G, and of course the F are, the Fs are sharp, I just have to say it fast. So, A, C, F sharp, G, G, F, F, G, G, F, F, G, B, G, and the Fs are sharp. It's a simplified version, the violins there. Something like that. I'm not going to play that little... Um, um, I don't think it's an ornament. I think, I think it's written in, in into the score. I'm just going to simplify it because uh, it works better on the recorder that way. Uh, because the F sharp to the E doesn't work that well when you play slurs. So I just do... G staccato, B staccato, and then G, uh, I think it's called a tenuto, so you hold the full value of the note. So let me review the two sections. Here's the first section. I hope you can keep up. Of course, you can rewind and watch again and stop and play and stop and play. Here's the first section. second section. Notice how I played the first G staccato, kind of short, and then the second G uh, to its full length. Okay. 
something like that. Let me try and put those two sections together. Now, for those of you who have the recorder as your main instrument, uh, you'll have to give me some grace. I'm a classical guitarist and a pianist, so you'll have to give me some grace on some of the um, imperfections in my tone, and you possibly could have uh, some better fingering solutions. But this is uh, where I'm at right now. So here goes uh, an attempt to play that whole thing. And then we'll go from there. And I did play the next section, which sounds like this. So that starts on a high D. It goes to a high E. Half thumb. Uh, some people even take the whole thing off. You could. I just keep it half on. Just kind of open up that hole there. So D, high D, and then high E. And then here comes a little sequence. D, C, 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 C. I'm playing B this way the first time because it's a slur. So um, D, C, 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 B, B, B. Then switching to this B. B, A, 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 G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, A, B. You can rewind that if you need to. So watch. Uh, back to the beginning of that section. D, high D, high E. And then D, C, 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 B, B, B. Switch to this. B, A, 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 G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, A, B. And then the last part of that. Almost the same thing. So high D, high E, and then. D, C, 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 B, 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 A, 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 and here's how, how we end it. G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, staccato, B, staccato, G, full value of the note. Okay? I am slurring D to C, and then C to B, and then B to A, so... That's why I do this B the first time, because going from this C to this B uh, as, as a slur sometimes gets a little bumpy, if you know what I mean. But C to this B is much easier, much better for a slur. So let me play that whole last section for you. So let me put that entire thing together and you're welcome to try this on your own if you have a recorder at home. If you have a different size recorder and by the way, um, you know, funny thing, my most watched video and I'm a classical guitarist and uh, my most watched video on this channel is not even a guitar or piano video, it's a recorder video. Um, you can search for it if you want. I'm going to try and place a link at the top uh, and at the bottom if I, if I find the time. It's a video in which I compare 
soprano, a soprano recorder to an alto to a tenor and a bass. And uh, that's a pretty cool video. I did it a couple years ago. And my point is, what I was going to say is that if you have a different size recorder, you can certainly try this on an alto or a tenor or a bass. It's just going to sound different because they're tuned differently. Okay? So let me put that whole thing together and see what I can come up with. Okay, so uh, that's the video for today. A tutorial on Mozart's Eine Kleine Nacht music. If I'm not pronouncing it correctly, feel free to correct me. I think I'm pretty close to that. And I'm playing this on a soprano recorder. Feel free to try this on your own. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to write them at the bottom. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Thank you in advance for that. Also, don't forget to click that bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Uh, it's a new week. It's a new beginning. I hope you are all having a wonderful week. Um, thanks for watching the video and see you next time. Bye-bye.